morning everyone. This is Rocco coming back at you. Merry Christmas as well for those who celebrate it. Happy holidays for those who don't and I hope if you celebrate anything else or you do not celebrate anything I hope everyone has a wonderful day. I am trying to enable it. We still obviously have our GPS bug a little bit here. Um, trying to well, I'm going to my parents house and then going off to my sisters from there uh, Christmas morning here so we can do our Christmas activities um, we are not anywhere near the interstate yet that is accurate now I believe I don't think it's there it goes. Thought it wasn't gonna let me re-enable it because it aired out. Okay. So what it needs to do right here is it needs to slow down going into this exit. Or exit merge. Um, but that being said, this is perfect. Right there, if it does that every single time, it should stay that way. And right here, what happens is it goes all the way to the edge of the road, realizes, oh, I just crossed the line and then slows down because he's like, well, I can't figure out where the lines are. And then like, because it wants to speed up to merge onto the highway. So again, it should have merged a little bit sooner. I think this car right here is what made it hesitate to get onto the highway sooner. And it could have also been because I wasn't putting full weight on the wheel. And no, no, if I had my hand on the wheel or not. I kind of wish it would start tweaking that a little bit and perhaps I might uh, wait until full stack. Unfortunately, we're not in full stack yet. I think they're gonna have to do a lot of training um, still for full stack. It's because even Navigate on Autopilot still has disengagements as you saw from my previous videos. Uh, it's just, there's still things it just cannot do, but I think full stack will be the solution for all of those of course it's just we're gonna have to wait for that to come out exit here it's full region and it should already be going over it that's better than it was last time but it needs the half second more would have been great to previous updates on this section would occasionally beep at me I think I don't know if there's just a bug in that version or anything like that maybe it just couldn't properly see a car gonna be on my left and it moved over much better yes the new merging logic in the last couple versions have really improved this merge right here again it still needs to slow the speed down sooner It braked way too hard for that. Like it thought it was closer for some reason. Okay, good brake for that yellow light there. And this person straight up running a red light, okay. Again, we need to slow down the speed limit much quicker here. It goes from a 45 to a 20. And 
it just does not slow quick enough. The only reason it's slowing right now is because of this curve. It wouldn't if it was straight it would not be, it would not be slowing. And this is the right on red. So this might be our first get disengagement unless it turns green here. Sorry, this is not you cannot turn right on red. Okay, good. It turned green. What I'm gonna say you cannot turn right on red here. Perfect turn, that's improved over previous versions. I'm guessing it's not going to go ahead and change lanes to the left lane here. This is my preference, especially if there's no one around, to go ahead and get in the left lane. But I think for this video, we're going to let it do its own thing since there's not a lot of traffic today. Okay, it tried to slow down on those yellows because it saw the red and it turned the green and it got confused. Normally what it does is it changes lanes right here. Yep. Which is honestly not the best spot. So 10.6.1 did this intersection up here really well. So we're gonna see if 10.8 does it just as well. See if we haven't regressed any. So it should turn the blinkers on here. It is getting in the correct lane. We have a blinking yellow and we have some on oncoming cars. I'm gonna wait for this truck up here. Ah. Oh, come on. Okay, so unfortunately, it wants to go through um, flashing yellows now, which is new behavior at 10.8, and it was gonna cut out in front of that car. Um, very non-aggressively. So that is a downgrade. It should not do that. Uh, there were so many times previous... That is also wrong. It always thinks I'm going off the road when I turn, cut that corner sharp there. But yeah, that was definitely a downgrade. Um, obviously, I'm going to do this more than once. It's only one time I've done this. So we're going to see how, how it works. Hey, everyone. We are back here. So I got my words jumbled up before. But yeah, so... Unfortunately, uh, I didn't realize that was new behavior. Otherwise, I would have slowed it down sooner and waited for those cars uh, or disengaged sooner. I thought it was just creeping a little bit. But yeah, it definitely did not see that car soon enough. This is why it's critically important that the car looks further up ahead. It does not take logic in. Like the car way up there, it should already see that and already be accounting for it. Uh, but I don't think it does currently. It does not until right here. Uh, if if it does, they need to adjust the visuals so it represents what it can see far up ahead. Because that, that's really critical for those type of turns where you have cars coming at high speed cross traffic and you're trying to make an unprotected left. This is why Chuck Cook had such an issue at his video um, the other day. Uh, it just... Uh, it needs to see further up ahead uh, to do better see how it does on these roads to see if it's going to turn into the turn lanes here this is usually the first one it messes up on yep so that was a mess up there go ahead and record that i do not i very much dislike how it's just a ding um to go into uh cruise control and what i wish it did is disengaged autopilot and just kind of put it into neutral basically uh, see right here is wrong it waits until it sees the lines and then merges over it does, doesn't stay right we had a few versions way long time ago I think in the nines that did this road great it's the first time it ever did it great and maintained it version after version until like in the tens somewhere it's messed it up and it's been messed up ever since uh, I just can't do this road with the uh, poor lane lines. Right here is expecting to mess up as well. So it needs to go stay on this side of the road. Go ahead and snapshot that. I'm waiting for them to fix that. It's It's been regressed for many versions now and it has yet to be fixed. 
So this is like what, four disengagements on this road? There's a Maki right here. And it's the first time I've seen one. No, it's... Yeah, first time in Hendersonville I've seen that. So it should wait for this car right here. It brake too early, it needs to come up here. Otherwise, that is the end of this drive. I'm, hate to say, I'm just not happy with it. Um, there are a few things that just seem smoother, but it makes the same mistakes every single time. And it's just, you start getting a little bit disheartened when, like, it's been, it used to do it. Like, six versions ago, it used to do it just fine. And all of a sudden, version after version after version after version, it doesn't learn. I disengage, I press the camera button over and over and it doesn't learn so it's just like tesla when's it gonna learn how to do it correctly based on my feedback uh, like is it does it take dojo to do that or what exactly and so it's it's really concerning to me like it takes so long to do um to fix such basic errors relatively speaking this again is not great at least it made it this time but um yeah everyone uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Much better than full self driving is having today. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.